What's up guys and welcome back to a very brand new episode of McGrath Fishing. Me and Pete are about to head out on a brand new lake to go bass fishing pretty much until the sun goes down and then switch over to walleye fishing. Hopefully some perch as well, do a walleye catch and cook. We're going to make it a little bit interesting by the biggest bass between me and Pete. The biggest bass between me and Pete uh -huh. buys dinner for tomorrow. So on the chain we're going to do biggest bass. It's called catch and release so baby. That's, that's I'm built for catch and release. He's always about the catch and release. Is I am too, but like I said, if it's a walleye catch and cook or if it's a catch and cook in general. So here, I agreed. I'll put it in my live well, let these boys fillet them and cook them. You guys heard it. So like I said, biggest bass between me and P. Buys dinner for tomorrow night. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'm fishing in the hometown lake. It's like Wrigley Field. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get it. All right, guys, I'm sorry about the lighting, but we just got out in the lake, me and P, like I said. We're gonna do Biggest Bass, buys dinner tomorrow. So it's 5.30 p.m. I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, guys, two pounds, seven ounce smallmouth. Just hit on the follow the action net. These things are so strong. I knew it was a smallmouth right away. You guys heard it. I was like, this is a smallmouth for sure. It was fighting like a smallmouth, and it's a beaut. So, good way to start off the night. This is my second fish. Two pounds, seven ounces, the biggest bass so far of the night. Was that your first? Yeah, on the boat first, on the boat. We lost one, had, had one on the boat. So that's P's first fish, you know, that's our third fish of the night. So here we go, P, come on, let's do it. Catching okay, fish. Action. Here it goes, here it goes, guys, I got one on. <laughs> I can't even tell. Ever how big it is because of this pole. For a fish, here we go. All right, guys, peas on. All right, peas second fish of the night. He would have had three, but the one came off, so no big deal. <laughs> Perfect. All right, guys, second spot. It is 6:47. We just nailed a few bass. A new lake, new body of water and we're gonna fish this side of the lake. So let's see what we can get here off these piers. First fish off these piers, we're fishing. Oh man, we're gonna hit these piers. Wind's blowing in on this whole shoreline. We're getting some shade from these trees. I think this is gonna be a producer shoreline. Here we go. Oh, nice. He's hooked on. Look at that. I told you guys, this the wind is blowing in the shoreline, fishing these docks, protected by some sun. This is gonna be a productive spot. Two back to back, just like that. He's got another one off that pier. I gotta change my net. You gotta get, there you go. Get on the boat. Here we go, P, another one. We were literally in two feet of water fishing these piers in 78 degree water temp. Oh, I missed one. My talons are dropped. Got him back, I missed it and then I got him. I think this is like my fifth or sixth of the night. We're slaying them, my biggest being two pounds, seven ounces, the biggest of the night. Here we go. Oh man, on the drop. Another one on. Good little chunk, this one's a little taller. And taller, I mean body-wise, a little bit chunkier. Ooh, peas on, pretty much almost a double up. You got one? Nice. Peas on. 
Yeah. That is P, that's your fifth, right? Yeah. We got at least double digits fish by now, and it is only seven o'clock. There you go, little dink. <laughs> Yo, I cannot believe how mad that guy got when I burped today. Yeah. Guys, we've gotten a fish at, oh, it came off. We've gotten a fish at every single dolphin pet. Me and Pete just doubled up. Doesn't matter, all right, two tiny dinks. We, did, we just did a double dink. Pete's favorite kicker, Cody Parkey, double doink, double dink. Mm -hmm. Two feet of water, 79 degree surface temp. Sheesh. Ooh, better one. This is definitely the best largemouth so far of the night. There we go. What the f All right, guys, I got another little largemouth. He released himself and we're gonna hit this pair. He's in another little dink. Oh, I just lost another one. I didn't feel it going up on that one and it jumped. That one got me. Wasn't really ready for that bite. Is that a rock bass? It is the hell all right guys it is 7 15 we are slaying these bass by this pier this is a new lake new body of water and i wanted to come to this side of the lake because the wind is blowing in on it and there's a bunch of piers big ones small ones and the sun is right over the top of the tree so that side of the lake is sunny the first hundred yards out is all shaded because of this tree line so we're fishing this spot we are nailing them we are absolutely slaying these large mouth we are pretty close to going over to our one spot to go over to walleye fish and when I say the one spot, I mean, when I looked at this lake that we were fishing, I saw this one pretty good area that said there's weeds there, big drop off, so we should be able to find them, the walleye, and probably some bass there too. So stay tuned and here we go. <laughs> Take us home, punch it. <laughs> Fifteen feet right outside the weeds. What? <laughs> I no, you didn't. Yes, I was like, Tommy, I got one. Tommy, I got one. I didn't hear you say it once. Nice. Pete with the first bass in the new spot. Probably like our twenty-fifth to thirty bass tonight. We are absolutely slaying it. Alrighty guys, that is gonna do it for the night. No walleye, no perch, but a bunch of bass, probably 20 to 30 bass, maybe a little bit more. We absolutely slayed it tonight. It is 9.25, so we're gonna go in right now and then hit it back in the morning, but thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode. Shout out Follow the Action for all the apparel. Shout out to Follow the Action for allowing me to be able to do this as a full-time job. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next week.